Well, <laughs> hello there, busy moms. <laughs> um, this is Nashira, the busy mom on the go, and I am back here with another video. And I just got done setting up shop to um, do a video for the kids after school snack. And, um, but I realized I still haven't gotten to my food bank haul. So let me show you the after school snack. I know you guys don't prefer this, but I'm going to show you. But isn't this pretty? And they got the box juice in the freezer. So this video is going to be done a little differently. So there's two parts to this video. There's a part where we're in the car driving, doing our thing for the full day, and then the food bank haul. But we're going to put this in the beginning of the video, and then if you choose to, you can stick it through. Because we got something to talk about in this video. So stick to it, because this part won't take that long. But I've got to show you guys because it has been very scarce at the food bank. But today, we got a little jackpot, okay? Just a little bit. And we're going to be happy with it. So let me get everything so I can show you. Now, I wasn't about to get that heavy crate of water off the car. So just know the 16 ounces of spring water by Marketplace, I believe, or 365, whatever that number is on there, we got... One of these filled with water in the car. The kids will bring it in one of these days, or we might just pull it from the car. And along as well as that in the car is this Icelandic, Iceland, Icelandic, I don't know, um, pH 8.4 uh, natural spring water from Iceland. We have some of these, okay? If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I am a married single mother with seven children, six children still in the home. And guys, our family went through a lot. And another part of this going through a lot is we got ridiculed a lot. And this was before I decided to bring it to social media. And baby, them streets was talking. But not every person got the calling, talking, asking if we needed help. Feed, they'll feed the children, whether they have room to put us in their house. You know, people just get, love to talk. People love to have something to say. People love to do a comparison and contrasting. Baby, compare and contrast on all channels, okay? So when you come over here talking about all these mothers, that same comment, I want you to copy and paste and take it to those other mothers' channels. Don't feel comfortable with me because you, I'm new to you. Baby, I want to see them comments every time. That same comment. I don't even want... I don't even want you to change the comment. I want you to repeat that same comment, copy and paste to all the other mothers that you could be inquiring and talking about. Because don't think you're going to do me. So this comment right here, this one right here, y'all, Let's advocate that that same comment, copy and paste to all the other mothers. And then when y'all watch those other mothers, I want you to make sure y'all tell me if y'all saw that same message in them other mothers' um, comments. Okay. All right. Now we got that part out of the way. Let's talk about what we got from the um, food bag. So today I found some more underpads. This one doesn't look like it's as big as the other ones that I have. But, baby, we're getting low, and we still got a little bad weather. So, and, and to prevent my mattress from getting stained that it get, and um, me having to clean it and all that good stuff, baby, this right here does the job. And then we got a box of straw. The kids love straws. Are these plastic? Or what that? Let's see. Some plastic straws, baby. We got some plastic straws. <laughs> we got some plastic straws. So I'm um, excited about this. Um, air is more. Home comp comp comp. Some straws. <laughs> okay, we have parchment paper. One, two. Three. 
Okay, I think it's only three of the bamboo 24 disposable forks. So we have three of those. We have one pack of 20 of the bamboo plates, baby. Plates is plates. We be needing some plates, baby. So that came right on time. Now, I wish I had got there a little earlier because I'm pretty sure there were more plates. So this is all the same company like that. We have tissue. There's more tissue in the car. I just grabbed a couple just to bring in so you guys can see. So oh, I guess it's the... Is this the letter J or the letter R? I think it's J. I don't know. However, this is the tissue. And then we have one double fiber whole grain. And one, two, three. Okay, so three of the artisanal bread. Then we have one, two, three, four of the rosemary garlic parmesan biscuits from Red Lobster. And this makes 10 biscuits. So baby, we got us some Red Lobster biscuits. Now, I believe this one I've never tried with the rosemary, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. We have some crystal light. And baby, when I say I went deep sea diving to get this stuff, baby, I went swimming. Baby, I got down in that doggone garbage bin in that big old crate thing, and I got to bed pedaling, getting to this stuff. And the women was coming, and the men from the different um, places was coming. Baby, uh, no, we not, y'all not getting in my way, no. Uh-uh, I think it's not. So I made sure I got what I wanted first. And then we have the Crystal Light Citrus. Y'all listen. I got what I needed. And then we got some strawberry Kool-Aid packets. So, baby, we're about to be Kool-Aiding it up. And then I got some cups. So, back in the day, my mother friend used to make um, Kool-Aid cup pops or whatever they call. Baby, we're going to be doing that for the kids. Now, I don't know what this tastes like, but this is some white wing sauce that made me a little nervous. It says spicy northern Alabama wing sauce. I don't know, but I'm going to try. <laughs> we got some buffalo wing sauce. Oh, another crystal light citrus. We got a chicken tender sauce, baby. Oh, I didn't mean to get this. This is a zero gold sugar barbecue sauce. Okay, I didn't mean to get this. We're going to set this for somebody to have. Some cinnamon applesauce. What's the date on here? Because it sure looks dark. Oh, no, it's not due to June 2024. Okay, I did find some... Loose packages of cookies, so one graham cracker, two chocolate chip, one animal, and one Oreo. So I hurry up and um, backpedal to get that. And then some more applesauce. Some Rotels. Uh, diced tomatoes and green chilies. And then a pack of crunchy granola. Okay, so that's this one. And then we get ready to move to the next move to the next one. Okay, so now we're getting into another box. So we have the Texas Toast. We have two, um, what's these things called? Oh, I got two different kinds. 
times, but I got a sourdough and an original of the um, English muffins. Oh, excuse me. We have potato hamburger buns. We have some deli buns. Wait, I thought I got two of these. Did I not? Oh, I only got one. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. I put I put something back and accidentally gr grabbed this. Some sausage rolls by Artisanal. We have two of the raisin snail um, pastries. We got some Magnum large size condoms, thin. And then we have one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Six and seven, and then number eight is the blueberry. So this is This is everything I got, guys. So that's going off. That's my cue because my food is back here cooking. And I will see you in the next part of this video. So hey, busy moms. Um, good morning. How are you? This is your busy mom on the go, Nashira. And I am back here with another video, guys. So this morning... Woo, I feel good. Do, 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 do. Y'all, I had a good time yesterday. But first, before I tell y'all about this, I need to get into... Before I begin to tell y'all about this, I need to get inside of Smart and Final because I brought my co my coffee cup. Look, I can't even talk till I get my coffee, co uh, my coffee right. But I bought me an ice... Um, a cup full of, Lord, a cup full of ice. <laughs> so I got to go in here and give me some international, whatever that drink is called. I'm gonna, hopefully they have a caramel macchiato. So let me make sure I have this because yes, we need it, baby. It's too much stuff to do. When I get out of the store, I'm going to run down the list and all this stuff that we need to do. So if you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I am a married single mother with seven children, guys. And our family was homeless. And I'm going to continue to talk about my homeless journey. So please continue to watch the shorts. Please continue to look out for those because that is kind of going more in depth. These are old videos that I'm reposting and um, from my TikTok and showing you and it, well, giving you an idea of where everything comes from, stimulates from and all this other jazz. So sit back, relax. Don't get your panties all in the bunch. This is my life, not yours, okay? Anyway, let me get in here, get this coffee, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to chit-chat while we drive. Because we got to address some things, okay? Okay, so I am ready to get juiced up. We got to get to this gas station, guys. So... Before I start this car, so I wrote down everything that I need to do for the week. And I said that I was going to share that with you guys so that could help me stay on track with something. Because, yeah, we need to be a little bit more organized. And I know it takes time. Whew, but, baby, my life did not used to be like this. <laughs> But it is what it is now, and you gotta make the best of it and get it together on your own pace. I'm ready. Don't let nobody rush you to do nothing. Oh, my straw. Oh, these little suckers. I gotta get a new straw because, baby, this is gonna go down in there. Baby, that's too short. 
sure that I'm gonna have to keep tinkling with it. I think I got a McDonald's straw that's longer than this. Oh my gosh. So we have our weekly to-do list. Now, did I complete everything from last week? Let's see. Um. Oh, it's only one thing that I didn't do from last week, and that's take the Wi-Fi box to back to the library. So if I have not told you guys, I don't know if it's in all areas, but if you're in California, especially the Bay Area, that's what I know what I can focus on. If you go to your local library, you can get you a Wi-Fi box for three weeks and return it and get another one. So if you are down on your luck or just don't want to pay no Wi-Fi and you need help, go to the library and get you a Wi-Fi box. Don't let these people tell, tell you that you don't need to go to the library and get you a Wi-Fi box because yes, you do. Okay, so so the, here's the weekly to-do list for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So yesterday, we had a hot date, baby. <laughs> uh, we did do our exercise. We went to the food bank. We went to Target. And um, no, did I go to Target? I don't think I made it to Target. But why did I need to go to Target? Oh, I did go to Target while on the date. Baby, I can't wait to tell y'all about that. Um, and then we had hamburgers. And I prefixed that so my sister can just cook that up for the kids. And then the extra burgers we made for their their lunch this morning for school, which is today, Tuesday. Um, so today we are looking for a white button up shirt, collar shirt, black pants, black socks, black shoes. Well, not socks, black shoes. We, now we're supposed to be exercising today, baby. We're going to see how far we get. I have to go and get what I did not write on here. Let's go to the Social Security office. And give me a social security card, social security card. And then we have having tacos for dinner. So the meat is already out. So we just got to do that. And um, tomorrow is an orientation. And we exercise and not too much tomorrow. And then um, Thursday, baby, we're going to a concert. So we have a concert. I got to exercise. I got to look at Ross again for the kids, some more stuff, clothes and shoes. And then Friday, get ready for Easter, exercise, and get ready for my baby's birthday. Now, um, let's get to this gas station. Woo, okay, so I have been definitely looking at my comments, and I see that some of these things are rubbing you in the wrong place. And I don't want them to rub you in the wrong place because it's not your place to be rubbed wrong. This is my life and this is my journey and this is what I'm going through. So please don't let it affect you because I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. So Mad Maddie, stop being mad. And, 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 and I, I, I want this video just to be for the Mad Maddie. And... I want people to understand no matter what you go through in life, there is always going to be someone looking at every move that you make. Whether they're with you right on your ass or watching you this way. You're going to always find someone intrigued. You're going to fi always find someone intriguing. But I just want you to know you're not the only one. So whatever it is that you're doing, continue to do. However it is you see fit, fit it. And however you want to do it, do it. Because, baby, people will be going through the same thing as you. Same thing. It might just be some things a little slightly different and be living through you and mad as fuck. And then they will sit up and act like a wolf in sheep's clothing. And then on the screen, I'm going to pop up little messages of the mad Maddie, of how they come into your life. I mean, I know everyone is not your friend. I do know that. But people come into your life and... Um, with jealousy and rage 
not knowing that they are going to eventually rip off the sheep's clothing and turn into a wolf. I don't think they intend to do that. I think it comes over time with, um, you know how back in the days when we would be in high school and there was the girls who wanted to fight, but one be scared, another one would be happy that she's scared. Okay, but then you have the ones who need their audience. So they'll have, what's the people call that, um, the instigators. So sometimes people need instigators to get them started. So in order for somebody to feel strong, in order for somebody to feel like they're going to win, they got to wait for the right person to come in and say what they already are feeling. Now, I respect you more if you had have come correct in the first place. Not calling me, uh, not telling me, not uh, showing me, not explaining to me, like, we got all this stuff that's being said. Oh, you're beautiful, 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 and then the moment a new old Sally Sop jump in with their two cent coming correct in the first place, how they feel, which is fine. Everybody's entitled to feel how they want to feel. Just like y'all entitled to feel how y'all want to feel about me and a 24 year old. However, however, this is my life, okay? So you're entitled to feel how you want to feel. But my thing is, if you're going to jump in on the bandwagon, whatever the bandwagon is, be that. Don't change it up. See, people don't even realize, my mother used to say, used to um, say stuff, and it would be so funny because I'm like, where is she getting all these sayings from? And she used to say, oh, her slip is showing. And I'm like, what? So I start looking, and the woman ain't got no slip on. And I was, <laughs> she said, oh, that woman just needs to be quiet. She just talking. Oh, her slip is showing. And I looked again, I said, mama, that woman ain't got no slip on. She said, oh, no, she got a slip on. So I'm looking, <laughs> like, I'm really trying to figure out where is the slip at. Baby, the woman ain't been had on that piece of slip. But see, people show things or tell things that they shouldn't tell, especially if they're not ready for it. Everything comes with, every action comes with a reaction. So, or did I say that? Every action comes with a reaction? Or yeah. So, I know, I know, but old man Maddie don't know. <laughs> I'm not new to this. You are new to, y'all are new to me. Y'all are new to me. So y'all, there's a lot that y'all have, you have no idea about me. Y'all don't understand and I get it, but baby, your slip is showing. Oh baby, your slip then slipped all the way down. And you need to think about the things that you are saying and the things, baby, let me tell you, God will make your enemy your footstool. And so while you, while this devil is digging a grave, baby, dig the grave for you, dig one for yourself. So while you thinking you're doing something or showing off in these comments, baby, while you feel like you are digging a grave for me, you make sure you dig one for you. Because baby, what you're not going to do is bring the negative to me and think I'm not going to put that shit back on you. You're not going to bring shit over here and think I'm not going to give it back to you. So I rebuke all that you're saying in my comments. I'm not going to never delete them, but I rebuke them. Baby, I don't want it. You can, you take all that. That's all you. I'm happy over here. I, what I'm going through, I'm happy. Do it feel good? No, I don't feel good. Was I ashamed that once upon a time? Hell, motherfucking yeah. I was embarrassed as shit because it was my first go round of ever going through some mess like this. But baby, all that negativity you putting up in my comments, 
Mad Maddie. It's going right back to you. I rebuke all of it. You can have it, Mad Maddie. Be mad. See, when you messed up, Mad Maddie, Mad Maddie. See, this is what I'm talking about. My mama used to talk about women like Mad Maddie. Baby. <laughs> Man, turn around. I was like, what the hell? Baby, let me tell you. Sometimes it's best to keep your lips zipped. And if you don't know the term about your slip is showing, baby, I advise you to find somebody old school and ask them, what does that mean? Because, baby, your slip is definitely showing. Now, let me go pump my gas because we got to continue to have a good day. Take all that back. I'm about to put the comments right on here, baby. That's going right back to you, Mad Maddie. Anybody got time for that? <laughs> okay, so we just put $69.87. I was trying to get it as close to 70 as possible. <laughs> so now we're about to take, I just realized I forgot I got to take my son's lunch to his school because he forgot it. Um, And then we're going to get started. Okay, I don't think that's straw long enough either. Did I mention we're going to the food bank too? Okay, we're going to the food bank. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned that. So now let's get into the goodness. So y'all, baby, I went on that date. And baby, let me tell you, I had me a real good, good, good time. I mean, uh, good time. I didn't even know I was going to have a good time like this, and I did. So this is our second date. This was our second date, and this was the longest. <laughs> so far, this is the longest date I have ever went on. I mean, I have never been on an 11-hour date. That was a long time. But I enjoy every single solitary moment of it. So let's start off from the beginning because I'm not going to even just talk about the date. I'm going to talk about from the from the beginning all the way to the end. Baby, the man come to pick me up. The man come and pick me up with some groceries, y'all. The the man the man the man comes in hand with groceries, baby. I mean, who's, I am, my mind is still baffled on how did this man know that I needed some groceries? But thank you. And he came with some ice cream for the kids. Baby, I can't wait to make the kids some ice cream Sundays and say, take a picture and send it to him. But I want to know how did this man know that I needed some groceries? <laughs> I mean, thank you, but I am literally trying to figure this out. However, I don't ask no questions because, baby, I'm not going to stop somebody who want to help me. That's what I'm not going to do. And sometimes when you ask questions, you knock out your blessings. So, baby, I'm not going to ask no questions, but I would love to know what really made that man come in here with some groceries. Somebody told him, well, baby, and chivalry is not dead because, baby, that man was opening that door and closing that door for me. It was a couple of times I had to open my door, but the majority of that day, baby, he was opening. <laughs> wait a minute, baby. I did not. He was like, wait, don't open that door. Okay. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. So we talked about this before, not about opening doors, but me, we talked about, because there's ways that I talk about things. I, I think I got this from my mother. I, I know I got it from my mother. But there's ways of saying things without saying, well, I want you to open my door. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. And you gotta, gotta, gotta know he ain't got it. Unless he want it. So before we were talking, and I don't know how we got on this, but I'm gonna get back to the date. But I told him I wanted to be a damsel in distress. 
and I wanted somebody to come save me so I could have my king down uh, down outside said Rapunzel Rapunzel let down your hair because <laughs> I was just saying like I want to get away from the kids or whatever right but I wanted him to know that I wanted to be treated like a queen and when I need you I'm gonna need you to come through basically and I'm gonna need you to be the man that I need you to be so he caught the whole message. He caught the whole entire message. <laughs> he caught the entire message and I'm glad he caught it because baby, I was sure throwing it out there. So, um, so anyhow, so he came to pick me up with them groceries and he was like, here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? Thank you. He was like, it's some groceries. I told you I was going to bring you some. Now, I remember him saying he was going to bring it, but this whole entire time, I'm just like, but why? But I didn't ask, baby. I'm not, I'm not going to ask. So, and then he brought ice cream, so I wasn't expecting the ice cream at all. So I hurry up and went and put that in that freezer, and baby. I, y'all, did I take, I didn't, I didn't take a picture of what I had on, but anyhow, I had a little Stella got a groove back outfit on. I know I did. I know what I was doing. Hold on, y'all. Let me take this lunch inside. Okay, I didn't forgot where I left off. Okay, so anyhow, I, I, I think I'm gonna start where I just gonna oh, start. So I took the ice cream home, and oh, I was talking about how I was dressed. So I was looking cute, y'all. I put on this white button up, white blouse collar blouse that had a tie on here, and then I had on some black, um, um, tight shorts and a um tank top, crop top. And um, and some tennis shoes. So we went to San Francisco. So we hop in the car, baby. Let me tell you, when I got in that car, when I tell you, when I usually I get in the car, in the car with somebody, I have to be on ten the whole drive because it feels like they're driving too fast, too harsh. Um, they stop too late or whatever. They don't have no smoothness to their driving. My father was a smooth driver, and baby, he taught me how to drive. So, because I've been in so many car accidents, I have had so many, and the, the, the last two were the worst, and it was with someone that I really, really liked. She was cool, down to earth, and I trusted her. Baby, that trust was broken. And then the time before that, I was in a car accident, and I was, thank God that I was in there by myself, but I was hit from the back, and oh my gosh, my whole back window was sitting in front of the lady's window. I didn't even know the window had came out. So it was awful. So I have been in some awful car accidents. So anything will trigger any sound. Like if I still hear loud sounds, it still triggers and all, it's just a lot. So however, um, the moment I got in that car and he started pulling off is the moment I felt the comfort, security and everything. I mean, I felt good and I laid that seat back and closed my eyes. Then I was like, wait, am I supposed to do this? But it was just so natural. Like, like it, that's what I was supposed to do. And he said, no, it's okay. You can lay back. You, you're good. And I was like, no, he said, like, no, lay back. He said, I know you got all the kids and I know you need, and I know you need this. He said, and it's okay. It's all right. So she, baby, I laid her right on back there. You ain't got to tell me but once. Sometimes twice. But um, so anyhow, um, then I got to talking, you know, I laid back for a while, and then he said a couple of things, and I just got to talking. I mean, I got to running my damn mouth. And he was like, Would you just be quiet and lay down? He said, Be quiet and just lay back down. I said, uh -huh. like, okay, well, wait a minute. Uh-uh. So, baby, guess what? I laid my ass right on back down because the way he said it, baby, he put me in check and told me to lay my talking ass down. He didn't say it like that, but he was like, uh-uh, you lay back down. <laughs> he didn't mention that I was talking too much, but he was like, you doing a little bit too much talking. Go lay back down. Uh-uh. And then, so, okay, <laughs> I sure will. And I did. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get in front of you later because I need to go. I got somewhere to be. Um, so we get to San Francisco, we get to the pier, and we're walking. And I gotta go to the bathroom, so I'm like, okay, hold on, let me go to the bathroom. So while I'm at the bathroom, he go and get some clam chowder. Now, mind you, this man works graveyard, and then he works um, ten to four. 
go ahead, sit too. Yeah, so he worked 10 to 4, and then he goes to work from 10 to 7. So the man be tired, but he took the time out for me. So, um, so anyway, so we having a good time. Now, I didn't think about the man being tired. I didn't think about that. That wasn't on my mind. I felt like he was hungry, of course, because, well, I knew he was tired. I didn't know how tired, because I, anybody who work graveyard going to be tired. So, um, <laughs> so that's why he probably was like, just be quiet. Let back and be quiet. But the way he said it was so kind and nice and all that, and I did what he said, so. Uh, we get to San Francisco. We walk around. Oh, okay. So he get. I go to the bathroom. When I come back, he's ordered a bowl of clam chowder. And I noticed he was eating off the bread. So he was like, do you want some? I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't really want clam chowder because I wanted some fried fish. But I knew he wanted me to eat what he picked out. So I ate it. I'm not going to not eat it. So I'm just eating. And I'm like, here, get some more. He was like, no, I want you to eat it. <laughs> and I'm like, I am eating it, but get some more. He's like, I don't want any more. Okay, but I mean, I did not say this out loud, <laughs> but I was like, well, how he know I wanted some clam chop? How he even know I want seafood? But anyway, I saw that damn bow up. And so we walked some more or whatever. And then he was like, I kept noticing that he was itchy, like, I mean, not itching, like, but itchy, like, want to really do something different. So I was like, well, let's go back. He was like, do you want to go this way? And I was like, well, you, we said we was going to Pier 39. That's where all the little store, I mean, there's stores alone, but it's like the donut store. I wanted to give me a bucket of donuts. We were supposed to get all that, but we never did that because he was really ready, like, to eat, eat. So then I said, okay, let's go back down towards Pier 38 and 39. But as we was going back, he was, kept looking at his phone and stuff. And I'm like, what is going on? So the man wanted some barbecue. And he was like, let's go to Oakland. And he was like, and we can come back. Because he knew I didn't really want to leave. So he was like, but we can come back. And I'm like, but why don't we just stay? It doesn't make sense to go to be here for our leave to go get some food and come back but I, he never said he was hungry so I couldn't understand what was we leaving for like I didn't know how hungry because he was talking about a hot dog it was like hella food he was talking about but never in my mind was like damn this man been at work all day and night like he's really hungry like that didn't kick in so when he kept mentioning all this food I was like well damn he must be really hungry so I said I tell you what let's just go let's go and he was like, you sure? And I'm like, yeah, let's go. I said, I'm game. I said, I don't have nothing to do. I don't have no kids. So let's do it. And he was like, okay, but do you want a hot dog? <laughs> and I was like, no. He was like, but I want to share a hot dog with you. I was like, I don't want a hot dog. And then... He was like, I said, but if you want the hot dog, you get the hot dog. You can get the hot dog. He's like, I don't want to eat the whole hot dog. I want to share the hot dog with you. So I'm like, listen, in my thoughts, I was like, this is a lot of motherfucking food, but he right up my goddamn alley. But I didn't want all that food. Because <laughs> I knew we were going to go get barbecue. It didn't make sense to me, but I'm like, okay. I said, listen, you keep talking. I said, you've been talking about this hot dog since before we started walking. Why you just didn't get the hot dog? And he was like, I don't know. He's like, maybe we're, okay, let's just go get the barbecue. I said, no, listen, don't go based off of me. Please don't. I said, because yes, I like to eat, but I don't want a hot dog. I said, so just come on, let's go get the hot dog. So he sat there, contemplated for a minute, so he walked across the street. So I followed suit, and then uh, he ordered a hot dog. So it was one of them hot dogs that they have at the concerts that be smelling good with the bacon wrap and the vegetables and all that stuff. So he got that with the squeeze, with some mayonnaise squeeze on top. See, I don't do mine like that. So it kind of a little turned me off, but I went on ahead and bit it. It was actually good. Um, so I would have put the mayonnaise in my bun, but they squeezed it on top. And he's like, here, take a bite. And oh my gosh, 
I wanted to say no again so bad, but I did not want, I didn't want to mess up my day because I was having fun. <laughs> I didn't want to mess up my day. So I took it. I said, oh, he want to see me take a bite because maybe he watched me. Just like he watched me eat that gosh damn it damn bowl and stuff. Baby, I gave him something to watch. I took that hot dog. He had already bit it. I took that hot dog and to put it, shoved the bread in my goddamn mouth. Oh, you want me to bite this? Oh, okay, I'm about to bite it. And baby, I took a big bite. He gonna say, I told him, give him my hot dog. Okay, but it stopped this shit. So we get in the car, we go to, uh, we get to Oakland. We're driving to Oakland over the bridge. And I should have took videos of that, but I was enjoying the moment. Like, that moment was so fun for me. I got one little clip I'm going to show you guys. But that moment was, I mean, that well, you guys will already have seen it. But I enjoyed the moment. I really did. And I was able to lay back and relax without feeling like I was neglecting the day. If that makes sense. And he allowed that, like... We didn't have to talk. I didn't have to keep the conversation. He didn't have to keep the conversation because, baby, he just thought, no, he was right up my alley. <laughs> he was right up my alley with this date. So we get to Oakland, and um, it's actually a spot I had been to, but I don't remember getting any food. So anyway, we um, got the food, and he was like, do you want to eat here or at a park? And I was like, at a park. So I noticed he was about to look up a park, and I was like, please not Oakland. I don't want to do it. So I could tell it kind of made him mad, but he was more upset because he was hungry and tired. So I was like, let's go to Kennedy Park. So we went to Kennedy Park in San Lorenzo. And I told him I lived over here before. He was like, oh, that's nice. But he, well, I want to hear that shit. That man was ready to eat and go to sleep. So baby, let me tell you, this is the best part of the day. Baby, let me tell you the best part of this day. We get to the park and we get pull our food out. And baby, all I heard was him over there chewing, smacking, cracking down on the ball. I was like, well, get into it then. Baby, I started eating my food. I started eating my food or whatever. And um, but next time we're gonna go where I know, but I mean it was cool. But I'm getting barbecue sauce all on my white blouse, and oh, that's what I need to get a tie ink uh, ink marker, whatever that thing called. But baby. We up in that car eating, getting down, but I can't really eat that much. It was just too, it was a lot. And so, um, but I ate enough to let him know I'm thankful. And I told him I'll eat the rest and order the kids to eat or something. But anyhow, baby, next thing you know, he laid that seat back. I laid my seat back. He waited till I went to sleep and then he fell asleep. <laughs> when I tell you that was the best part of the day, Baby, that was the best part of the date. We slept, well, he slept for sure a good three hours. I was on and off because I can't sleep around somebody new like that. I got to be on my P's and Q's. I don't know if that just comes along with the territory of being a mama. But baby, I can't do it. So, um, so anyhow, we went to sleep. Baby, we went to sleep and that was the best sleep ever. I mean, it wasn't comfortable sleep, but it was the best good little nap. I ain't never had that much peace of quiet in my life. <laughs> that was peaceful. And I mean, I didn't have to do nothing. That's the good part. I, I, it wasn't required that I had to do anything. So I finally get up to go to the bathroom and he get up, finally get up. And he was like, you know, I peep and watch everything. I said, I know that's what guys do. He was like, yeah, that is what guys do. He said, and I noticed you allowed me to sleep. And he said, how long was I sleep? I said, I'm going to say a good three hours. I can't remember what time we got here, but I'm going to say you slept for a good three hours. I, I was on and off about two hours, but baby, I'm going to let you sleep because I get it. I needed the quiet too. He was like, but you're the first person that ever didn't say anything. Like, you didn't, like, ask me what was wrong when I was giving off a little attitude. I said, yeah, because you was definitely giving off attitude. And, um, and I, uh, and I understand. I said, I get it. I said, it's just different that you work and I don't. And, um, but I have kids. 
So I understand. Oh, guys, wait. Let me get in here because I see something in somebody's car. Hold on. We're going to talk about this man some more. Oh, my goodness, guys. So listen, let me tell you. Before I put this stuff in. Oh, hold on, because I just got a message. Wait, let me put this stuff in the car. My whole box just fell apart, y'all. Okay, so woo. Okay, wait a minute. Shit, that hurt it. <clears throat> All right, so we found a good little amount of stuff, not a whole bunch of stuff. I think they're slowly starting to bring some people are donating and bringing some stuff. But oh, this is what I was going to say, baby. The garbage can. Baby, that garbage can. <laughs> baby that garbage can I was in there swimming trying to get that stuff baby we was baby I was fighting baby we not gonna let nobody out do me yes baby so for the one in the comments say I'll be down in there fishing for the food baby I was in there deep sea diving finding all the goods I found some makeup stuff my daughter let her do makeup I found some forks down in there <clears throat> I found some tissue, baby. We was down in there swimming, baby. I was fighting the women. Uh-uh. Get back. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. You're not going to win this lap. I'm getting all this stuff. No, baby. So, <laughs> I was getting all the goods. Uh-uh. You're not going to be out doing me. No, baby. No, baby. No. Okay, so, we got that out of the way. I found some good stuff, y'all. And then... Now it's time to go to the social security office and get my replacement car. And this is so ironic that all this time that this card was in my purse, my social security card was in my purse. I probably hid it from myself and then forgot. <laughs> all this time I had it. Now I need it. Now I got to go get a replacement. So I'm going to the social security office. Um, and then, I, I know I left off talking about our date. Um, where did I leave off at? Oh, the best part was us going to sleep, baby. We went to sleep. I let that man sleep. So he was talking about how um, most younger girls would be complaining about, like, what's the matter? Did I do something wrong or whatever? And he was like, you didn't do that. He was like, 
I noticed that you have not been complaining. I said, because I understand. I said, your work is different from mine. I said, but I am being worked. Like, no, this this motherfucking day. Feel, I had to call my sister, matter of fact, and tell my sister how beautiful. My thought, my sister thought I was being sarcastic. But baby, no. There was no sarcasm going on with this date about, I mean, the response to this. Baby, I was in love with my date. Baby, I love, not him per se. Don't get it twisted. Um, But I was in love with the date, okay? Baby, we can do that again. <laughs> Woo, we can do that again. So, um, so then afterwards, so then we go to um, a couple of, oh, did I say that already? No, that was before. Wait, we oh that was after. So after we ate, we went to Target, we went to Starbucks, we went to um not T Mobile. Is it T Mobile? One of the phone stores because he keeps talking about my phone. So he said he's gonna buy me a phone. I don't know how much this is true, but baby, I'm in here for it. <laughs> Cause baby, I do need a phone. So we was looking at iPhones. So he well, he was more so looking at the iPhone. So I don't know. I'm just gonna sit back and then relax and enjoy. The goodness, okay. Um, and then uh, we came back to the side where I live, and uh, we went parked at this um, lake beach type of thing where people live with their water boats, their homes, and boats, and all that stuff. We was talking about, well, he was mainly talking about the things that he wanted, and I'm like, okay, come on, come through. And um, he was like, I don't have time for sleep. He said, I can sleep later. Like, I'm I'm in the hustle for the money. I was like, well, you young, baby, do it. Get it while they're getting this good. And so, um, so we was just talking, and, and we actually had a good time. And, baby, I didn't even have to put up nothing. <laughs> or put out nothing. <laughs> Woo! And the, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, two more things, two more things. So, we he mentioned... Uh, about the Subway cookie thing, the foot long now, baby. I've been wanting to get this damn foot long cookie for the longest. But I just was not about to go and buy the cookie. I wasn't going to see myself doing that. But since he offered, no, 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 no. Hold on. No, 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 no. He mentioned prior to getting that cookie how women always ask, you know, like want men to always pay, 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 but they don't pay for nothing, right? So I, I caught hold to what he said. I caught it. I caught it. So I was like, oh, does he want me to pay for this cookie? Because, baby, if the cookie only $5, I'll pay for it. Because all this you've been doing, baby, <laughs> and all the things that you say you're going to do, I'll pay for this $5 cookie. But I didn't say that to him. But I caught his drift. I caught what he said. And it is so very true that women always expecting so much. And then it, it could be anything from a dollar, and they'd be like, "No, I'm not paying for that. You gonna pay for it?" So I call this trip, baby. If all if all I gotta if I gotta only give up five dollars and nothing else, baby, I'm paying that five dollars. <laughs> so, um, I was like, "But you said you was getting the cookie." He's like, "But I don't want to eat all that." He said, "I just want to try it," and I said, "I don't want it either." I said, "Well, we don't gotta get it." And then he was upset. So I was like, "Oh wait, Nishara, don't be stupid now." So I was like, okay, come on, let's get this damn cookie. Oh, I can't even work right there. I was like, okay, come on, let's get this doggone cookie. And then so uh, <laughs> he was looking like, uh-uh, now you did see that. So I was like, come on, let's just get the cookie. Can I park there? This will make me nervous. I don't know about that. But it got a... I don't know, I'm not parking there. Even though I got a um, thing there, it's red, and uh-uh, we in Police City right now. So, I was like, come on. And so, I started digging in my purse for the $5, because, baby, I'm not going to uh, mess up my good day over no $5. That's what we not going to do. So, next thing you know, I pull out my $5, and I was looking back in my purse for a dollar, and he going to stand in front of me and pay for it. So I didn't say nothing out loud. I was like, but I thought you told me, I, I thought you wanted me to pay for it. You was insinuating that you wanted me to pay for it. He was like, no, it's good. So was he testing the waters to see if I was really going to pay for it? But <laughs> me and play too much. Was he really testing to see if I would come off, up off of $5? 
Yes, I'm going to come up off of $5. I don't mind helping paying something. I'm not going to always put the bill, but... Baby, listen, I love my day. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I love my day. He was testing. Baby, these men be tested. Well, I guess I passed the test because guess what, y'all? I woke up to, on the serious note, everything about this day was serious. On the serious note, I woke up this morning. Oh, no, wait, I forgot. So while in Subway getting the cookie, waiting for the cookie, I was walking back from putting something in the trash. And this girl walked in. I saw her coming up, but she walked in, uh, a Hispanic lady. And she opened that door. She said, I know you. But th- now I don't know how she did it because I'm just going off of how it sounded. That My face just gave you how it sounded to me. So look back. And I, my body, I, I was standing up. <clears throat> so I swung my brace and looked back. She was like, yeah, I know you. And I turned around, I said, you do? Because maybe I had to figure out what was going on here. Because the first thought was, is this somebody you used to mess with? I mean, even though she said, I I, I know your braids are, are something, she said, I know you. And then I, when I turned around, I said, you, no, I didn't say nothing. And then I looked, because I'm trying to figure out what the, you and homegirl got something going on? Because, baby, let me know right now. Because uh, now I got to get it in, in fight mode. <laughs> so she was like, your brace. She's like, I know you from somewhere. I'm like, oh, girl, shit. Wait a minute. Y'all have no idea. Baby, I let that wall all the way down. Because, baby, I thought we was about to be girlfriend. I thought we was about to be up in here because, baby, you're not going to be showing out doing me and think I'm not going to show out back. But I had to see where she was coming from so I'll know what I got to do because I don't do all that loud talking. You going to be doing all that loud talking while you loud talking? I'm thinking, baby, no, uh uh-uh. No, 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 baby, Uh uh-uh. So I had to keep my composure because I'm like, what the fuck? Baby, the woman inspired me. She probably didn't see my YouTube channel because she was trying to figure it out. And she was like, I, she's like, your kids go to uh, the name of the school, or whatever. And I'm like, no. She's like, I know your braids. She said, I've seen your braids. So then once I realized either something wrong with her or she really know seen my braids or something, she seen me somewhere. I was like, damn, I thought that was somebody you talking. You said shit. I was trying to figure it out too. <laughs> he was like, she scared me. Baby, I mean, when I tell you, I was trying to figure it out. I was trying to figure it out. Okay, let's get inside of here because we do got business to take care of and I can talk to y'all all day. So let's get inside. Oh, let's see how much time we have. Oh, that's four hours on here. Shit, somebody must have had to go to court or something. I thought they was going to be here longer than that. So, I hope that's four hours. Okay, well, thank you for... Ooh, we smell good. Gosh, damn it. He lucky he on that phone because I would have said, excuse me, what is that you have on? Oh, I put on... Oh, wait a minute, I put on two necklaces? And I forgot to put my other earring on. Lord have mercy. Okay, let me get in this building, y'all. We cannot be on the phone in here. And I'll catch you back in a second.